Hi, my name is Kara and I'm one of the certified veterinary technicians here at Dove Lewis. And today we're going to be talking about reptile husbandry in the hospital. Um, probably like you guys, we've been seeing a huge increase in exotic patients, especially reptiles presenting here to the hospital. And we've had to make some changes in our husbandry plan to make sure that these guys are properly cared for. Now, typically in an emergency setting, we'd only be seeing these guys for a few hours and hopefully either discharging them home or to an exotic specialist. But because of our wait times, they're having to house them here in hospital for a lot longer. So we need to make sure that we're having um, the appropriate husbandry for these guys to keep them nice and healthy while they're here for their sort of elongated stays. Now, one of the most important aspects for reptile husbandry is heat support. So reptiles, unlike mammals, are ectotherms, which means that they have to regulate their body temperature based off of their external settings. They can't do that themselves normally. So heat support across the board, no matter what species you're dealing with, is gonna be the most important aspect of their care. We have a lot of different options here at Dove Lewis. Um, we have a mobile dome light, so these are relatively inexpensive, and the good thing about these is that they're mobile. So they fit into any outlet and you can bring them around the hospital to accommodate where you need them. It's just a heat bulb in here that you buy separately and they hang. So you can provide heat support over any enclosure that you need it. The important thing to remember about these is this dome does get exceptionally hot. So we do not need to put anything over it or cover it. And also when you're handling it to move it, if it has been on for a while, just use per, um, some safety precautions and not grab it right here because you will burn yourself. But these are a great addition to the hospital because you can move them wherever you'd like to. We also have a warming mat. These are fantastic as well because they are also mobile and gives you a larger space for larger species. You can set your enclosures right on top of here. This is also safe to have an animal directly on top of it. So you can use a towel or a potty pad to kind of protect this if they do defecate or urinate. Um, but this is also a great, it's adjustable. So you have a lot of different settings in terms of heat. So this is another great safe option for our reptile friends. We also have two incubators here in hospital. So if your hospital does have an incubator, these are great options as well. They are adjustable. So again, you can make this as hot or as cool as you need. And this is also safe. The animal can go directly onto the surface. Um, when we place animals in here that do need extra heat support, it's important that we're not loading them up with blankets or towels. We tend to wanna do that because it seems cushier for the patient, but you're actually removing them farther away from the heat support, which is the actual base of this. The water circulates through the bottom. So having them directly on the actual bottom of the incubator or just a very thin towel or potty pad is enough and will provide the best heat support for these animals. Now we do utilize um, warming bottles here. This is just a fluid bottle that we've dyed. Um, we do not suggest these for reptile patients. The reason is that they pose huge burn risks. So a lot of our patients like to burrow under their substrate or their towels. Um, so they have a huge risk of actually laying directly on top of these and these can cause burns. So we do not recommend using these at all for our patients. We oftentimes see them added into things like incubators or smaller cages to give additional heat support. But again, the risk is too great. They can have hot spots in these, they can burn. So we really strongly encourage you guys not to use warming bottles with any of our reptile species. So we also have incorporated some, some cages into our newly ex uh, created exotic sword. Now these have heat support up on the top three banks. The rest of them do not. They are just normal lighting. So if we are housing patients in the bottom, we will need to provide additional heat support. But these actually have heat lamps built into the top. So these are perfect for our reptile friends. The switch is located on the side of the unit. There's nothing else you need to do to adjust temperature. You just flip it on and off. And that way all of all the patients in here will have heat support directly from the lights on the top of the bank.